Hi, I'm Valerie. Today I'm wearing my headband and my bow that I made recently. I did two videos, part one and part two, just to show you how to make this simple headband and to accent it with a bow. So check out those videos and maybe you can make yourself a headband with a lovely bow. Anyways, today's project is uh, showing you how to make a simple plant pot bag. I have to say that slowly. Right? Plant pot bag. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to decide on the fabric that you want to use and I'll advise you that the best thing to do is to get a heavy weight fabric. Okay, a heavy weight fabric is the best thing to use to make a plant pot bag. Okay, so there we go. I'm making a bag for this pot. So the first thing I need to do is to measure the widest part, the circumference of the widest part of the pot and then add a couple of inches up to three inches depending on how much bigger you want the, the pot to be. And that is going to be the circumference, is going to be the width of your fabric when you're cutting your piece. Then you measure the height, and that is going to be the length of your fabric. Okay, so for example, this part, the widest part, the circumference is widest part, the circumference is 21 inches. So you would add a couple more inches or up to three inches whatever how depends on how big you want the pot the the bag to be and uh, so if i add two inches that would be 23. so 23 is going to be the width that's how long i'll cut my fabric and the height is eight and a half inches if i want it a little higher i could go up to 10 inches plus I'll need to add for a uh, flat stitch to flat stitch the top. So I'll add maybe another inch or so. Okay, it's not an exact size. Okay, so anyways, you will cut, if you have one big piece of fabric, then you just cut one rectangle. Here I'm using two rectangles because I'm using fabric samples. Okay, so I'm just putting two coordinating pieces of fabric samples together and then I'll just stitch around to make my bag so I'll start stitching now that's it finished stitching if you are using two pieces of fabric make sure you pin your fabrics your fabric panels together so they don't slip around while you are stitching there we go so we have a bag however we need to give the bag a little dimension see how it has that depth so we need to give the bag a little dimension and here's an easy way to do it basically stick your finger in the corner of the bottom of the bag and make a little rectangle on the corner now line up this the seam at the side to the seam on the bottom so line up both seams and to give your bag a little dimension you take it to your sewing machine basically just stitch across There we go so we've stitched across just like so right across here in order to get that di the dimension that we need I'll show you how it looks inside this is how it looks in the inside so it will help your bag to sit okay so that's one side so this is how we do the other side 
we basically line up the seams again the seam at the side to the seam at the bottom as best as you can and take the one we've done before over to this one basically fold in half line them up together and just mark the edges where the stitch is on the one we've already done and put a pin in just to give you a mark so you know where to stitch to and from and the other edge do the same thing line them up starts right here so we're gonna put our pin right in and then we now know that we will be stitching from one pin to the next pin take it to the sewing machine and stitch but before you start stitching after you have put your presser foot down take your pin out so as not to stitch on your pin right okay there we go and then we start stitching And we have a good idea where we're going so take the other pin out and then just finish off your stitch there we go and now we have our two little bunny ears we can either cut them off or we can leave them now I should mention that I'm using fabric samples so the ends the edges are already surged you may want to use a serger or you may want to do some zigzag just to finish off your edges so they don't fray. And there we go, we're turning inside out. And our bag has that dimension that we need for it to be able to sit. Okay, so now let's finish off the top edge by just doing a flat stitch. I've started here already to do the flat stitch. Basically, you're gonna turn your fabric two times, just eyeball it, don't need to measure. It's just a simple flat stitch. However, when you're stitching across your seams, make sure you open the seam so that your fabric does not get too bulky in that area. Okay, so just gonna finish off the stitching hold and stitch as you go and don't forget to open your seam so that your fabric does not get too bulky where the seams are that's it I'm done my bag is done so the bag is finished it doesn't need anything else however if you wanted to add a little more detail to your bag you could add a tassel trim around the top edge or even a gimp trim if you have learned anything from this video please like share subscribe and hit the notification button so you can be the first to learn of my new video tutorials until next time, cheers!